In the next 30 minutes, you'll hear these rare gems plus other super souvenirs from radio's world of commercials. See how many you can remember. I'll bet you'll be surprised and delighted. So stay tuned for a few golden words from our sponsors. Hey everybody, this seems like a good place to hop in. How did I turn my game down? Should be in the yellow. Oh, I'm getting upset with pipe wire. I, well, I don't know if it's pipe wire or if it's Debian testing. I mean, it, that's a thing. Could be a lot of things, but I've been having trouble with my audio. I spent a couple hours this morning doing a sound check. And it was fun. I like doing sound checks. But not when all of my work is kind of tossed out because the audio setup can't figure out what it wants to do. It's like it kept getting progressively quieter the more the more sound checking I did. And I did one last sound check before going live, and it was it was so off that I restarted my computer, and then I listened to them again, and they they were completely wrong. So I had to start over and do a sound check in like five minutes. So hopefully everything looks good. My compression is set up. Music sounds good. Hey Rice, how's it going? We're gonna be taking a look at Mandriva LX. This is Open Mandriva Rome. Rome. That's a code name. Not a bad one. <laughs> oh, I haven't poked around a Linux distro, Linux distro in like a month. Last one I looked at was Garuda Linux, and I kind of left that one hanging. I'll take responsibility and ownership for that. Drop the ball. But I just kind of lost interest in it. I was, I really tried to, but I mean, at some point, it feels like producing Linux stuff is like an obligation, and that makes it way less fun, and I'm way less likely to do it. So I, I got to be interested in what I'm doing. And I don't know, Open Mandriva is cool. You guys know anything about Open Mandriva? I've covered it a few times. I looked, and the the last time I streamed Open Mandriva was last year, and I did a I did an infamous Distro Delves episode on it that was. Um, Maybe a little more negative than it should have been. Good afternoon, electronic gameplays. So I did something really cool with the last Distro Delves episode. I got a keyboard specific for the Distro Delves machine and a mouse for the Distro Delves machine. You heard that Mandriva is a distro from your country of Brazil. I thought it was French, but we'll take a look. The maintainer of this distro is one of the maintainers for Godot. That's kind of cool. So I'm using my Beta 58 microphone. I'm, I'm screwing with it right now because I want to make sure it's at the right, the right place. My, I got my ears, I got my ears tuned for my Behringer set. I got, I got matched set of microphones that I've been using for the Open EG stuff and my ears are tuned for that. And this one has a very similar audio profile, but it's different and it's, it sounds really nice. I, at first, when I, when I first started using those other microphones, um, I really liked the way they sound, but now I'm back at this and I, I like the shirt. So I'm gonna close this welcome screen down and we're just gonna install. And we'll take a look at the welcome and stuff once we get, once we get going here. 
You guys know how it goes. How it goes. Dun, 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 dun. We got Young Bay playing in the background. Hope you like him. There's a couple other artists in this playlist, but I think it's mostly Bay 5 with some other singles mixed in. Limited connectivity, really? We'll find out what version of KDE this is and all that jazz too once we get it installed. For what just happened? Whoa, it didn't do it on the stream. That was weird, the monitor just went out for a second. <laughs> Wouldn't be a distro delve stream. You search now, it's actually Mandriva. It's a fusion between a French distro, Mandrake, and a Brazilian distro called Connectiva. Interesting, I did not know that. Oh, that, I thought that was going to be the password. <laughs> Local hose. Super secret. Use the same password. Don't make me type it twice. Create a user called EG. Domain is local hosed. And we are installing it on the SSD that I've got in this machine. This machine is not the regular distro delves machine. Oh no, this is a, uh, what, what are you? Yes, machine, what are you? I thought it was a brand name. Isn't it something? Yeah, it's an AS Rock machine, that's what it is. But it's a cute little embedded thing, and it has a, I'll show you the system specs really quick. Don Coyote, hey, how's it going? How am I doing today? I'm doing good. I had a couple of gremlins get at me this morning, but shrugged those off and, and we're good. We're good. I got everything set up for the stream. I couldn't find a couple of things. I was like, where did I go? But I found them or worked around them and all is good. I was thinking about having my dog hang out in here with me, but he he just got flea treated yesterday. He's like, I don't want to make a bunch of noise. <laughs> When I was doing the sound check, I was playing guitar and I didn't even realize he was behind me until I like watched the video and I'm like, dude, what if he goes behind me and like dumps or something? Let's not take that chance. The Linux cast, hey, how's it going? Good to see you there. What was I doing? Good to see everybody in chat. You've missed out on a lot of your YouTube lately. Oh, here I am. Uh, I'm still here. This, this channel's still here. I just like, I, I'm not super passionate about it right now, but I do want to take a look at Open Mandriva, and at the end of this stream, I'm going to be playing some guitar. I got my camera set up, so you're going to be able to see me play. So in some ways, this stream is just a cheeky excuse for me to play guitar. We'll be doing that in like an hour and a half or so. Okay, so hello, why did you do that? I wanted to look at devices. This is really sensitive. What, don't, isn't there like a better bird's eye view of the hardware? Oh, I'm dumb, it's right here. <laughs> AMD Ryzen embedded R150 or uh, 1505G with radio, uh, Vega. It's actually pretty good, it can play Overwatch. Not well, but it can play it. But we're not gonna be playing Overwatch. I'm, I'm either gonna play a puzzle game or maybe Starbound, depending on how burned out I am. <laughs> not that I plan to be burned out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this one a little more casually. No, I'm not gonna fall. I usually have the checklist with me. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just here. I'm just here to have fun. I got myself a, a Pepsi Cola for the stream. Mm. I seldom drink soda, but I was tasked for the store last night. So while I was there, I was like, you know, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow, and I deserve something nice. So I got myself a bottle of. Wild Cherry Pepsi Cola. Could you increase on a on a mic? The music is nice, but the mic is good. Or the mic is a little loud. Yeah, I, yeah, I can boost the gain. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah, let's do that. How's that? Is that a bit better? Da -da 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 -da. Music's good, but the mic is quiet. Yeah, see, that's a thing. I was complaining about about um, pipe wire. God, I'm sure that uh, Mr. Linux cast has complained about Pipewire too. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what it is. At least, you know, at least Pulse Audio is configurable. Like I can open up 
paw prefs and get into the config and screw around with stuff, but Pipewire is totally hands off and if it screws up, I guess you're just SOL. And it screws up on me constantly and that's a problem for a content creator like me. I can't have my audio set up screwing up on me. But hey, maybe that's just part of my style. Pipewire has only been good to you. Yeah, maybe it's because I don't restart my computer very often. Because when I restart my computer, it's all screwed up. If I, t if I did the wrong password, I'm going to be devastated. I think I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Technology has gone too far. Eh. Uh, you know, I think that the open source community has this issue of saying things are ready when they're not. But they also have an issue of taking way too long for things to be ready. So, I mean, that's not a dig. It's just kind of an annoyance, I guess. It's, it's my own fault for being on Debian testing, right? Getting, like, the, the bleeding edge versions of everything. So maybe if I was on a stable distro, it wouldn't be crapping out on me. All right, so let's talk about Open Mandriva. Enough about this pipe wire. He switched to pipe wire months back. You, there are less issues with pipe than pulse. Yeah, I, I, I hear you, and I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I, I think it, it, it must just be me. It must be Debian testing, and I do updates, and I don't restart. Shame on me. But yeah, there's that's my belly aching for you. OSS is moving fast. Still take a break. All right, so let's talk about Open Mandriva. I am quite fond of Open Mandriva. I've never run it locally, but I've known about it for as long as I've known about Fedora, OpenSUSE, so really early on. But I went with OpenSUSE as my distro, and I feel like Open Mandriva has always been a community first competitor to SUSE and OpenSUSE. And now that, in my opinion, OpenSUSE is in kind of a weird state with the future of Leap and Tumbleweed just and like the, its positioning and the Linux distro scene is odd. Open Mandriva just switched to, or I think Rome is now on a rolling release schedule, just like Tumbleweed. So I'm interested in Open Mandriva to compare it to Tumbleweed, a distro that I'm fairly familiar with. To be honest, I haven't had the great, the greatest experience with Open Mandriva all the times I've tested it, but I'm hopeful. Every time I use it, I'm hopeful, and I'm hopeful here. I haven't played around with Rome, I don't think. So, yeah, rip Leap. I know, I was actually thinking of switching to Leap when I was reading about them saying they're not sure about what's gonna happen to them. I'm like, come on, man. We need more stable distros. Everything's going rolling and like bleeding edge. You either get really stale or like cutting edge stuff. There's hardly anything in between. I thought Leap was a good, a good middle ground, but maybe not. Okay, I wonder if like, I wonder if it's my compression that's keeping it down. Because in my, in my monitor, I, I'm like loud, but in OBS, it keeps bringing me down. And I'm not, I don't know. I should be better at this. <laughs> so I noticed that it kept to our Wi-Fi. That's cool. The Haas Wi-Fi, we're plugged in. Not all distros do that. Rip Leap and Rip Solus. Yeah, I don't know. Solus is another odd one. I talked about it on the last stream and then Shortly after that, they posted a blog post saying they're not they're not dead, and then they seemingly died. I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it's dead. There's people there. Open Mandriva LX is an exciting free desktop operating system that aims to cater to the interests of first-time and advanced users alike. It has the breadth and depth of an advanced system, but is designed to be simple and straightforward to use. We'll see about that. This is Open Mandriva LX 23.3 Rome rolling with a kernel. Linux kernel 6.2.6. 6. Rolling with a kernel. Desktop kernel. What do we got into features? This looks like just Open Mandriva marketing, which is fine. Debian testing and Manjaro are both good for middle grounds, but not completely rolling too far behind. Yeah, Mand uh, Manjaro has that kind of weird, it has a weird smell to it, admittedly. And, uh, you know, it's okay for distros to have weird smells, but Mandri or, uh, Manjaro's weird smell's gone on for a long time. 
so I don't I don't know. I I did the distro delves on. I really liked what I saw, but I still see people criticizing uh, and rightly so. You know things that are actually broken with it. So I don't, I don't know. I, maybe I should have maybe I should have not made that video. <laughs> I thought it was okay, but other people don't. So Colonel six point two point six. What was that? Something just went thump behind me. It's a ghost. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what the heck is that? Uh, let's not get sidetracked. Okay, so we have Open Mandriva's custom kernel, which I like. Oh, it's doing that. I thought I kept doing that. It's doing a slideshow. There's not even enough time to read. I'm like, okay, so it's using BFQ Disk IO Scheduler. Oh, okay, that's that. So KDE Plasma. What am I running on Debian testing? What, what version of KDE do I have? And I look back and it's moved on. So this this should not slideshow or you should be able to pause it because I'm actually interested in this information. <laughs> and they keep taking it away from me. Might need to increase the gain on my compressor. They tend to be they tend to quiet the signal to reduce the dynamic range. What is my compressor doing? Is it still a problem or is that just like advice? Let me see. It's a filter, right? I have the compressor. Yeah, I, I tuned this like a long time ago. I don't want to screw with it. But I guess maybe I have to. The ratio is 2 to 1. I don't know if that matters. All right, enough of that. Uh, it's just advice. Yeah, I, I have I have a video on my Trello board, Rice, to show you my audio settings. And I'll include OBS in there too, and you can you can tell me everything I'm doing wrong. Because I'm, I'm clearly doing, doing stuff wrong. I'm like barely hanging on. Uh, first time you used Linux was 2011. The computers at your school had Kubuntu and Debian installed. Okay, that's cool. I like that. All right, uh, we keep getting off track. So this has KDE Plasma 5.27.3. I am running 5.7.2. So Open Mandriva is ahead. Huh? You know, I'm not. I'm not against switching to Open Mandriva if I have a good experience. Like I'm open to it. I'm I'm open-minded. Holy moly! If you hear a plane taking off in the background, it's not a plane. It's just the it's the distro delves computer. I don't know why it did that. Uh, Open Mandriva repo picker. I think that we need to do something here. Oh, is this not a button? Oh, you know what? I remember this. These look like buttons, but they're not. They're just informational. Uh, configure your network. Can you do anything here? Oh, it says click the menus. Now you... What? Hold on. So you can click these, but you can't click these? Okay. Well, I said that backwards. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Translate EG speak. Good song. The music and my voice are slightly out of sync, and I don't know exactly how to fix that. Like, I, I know how, but the <clears throat> nomenclature that they use to describe like the audio offset I don't know I don't know what that means like I get an offset but if I add 20 milliseconds who what am I adding that to like I'm adding it to the desktop but is it moving it forward is it moving it back like I don't know what that's doing in audio stuff tuning audio stuff has a tendency of just eating up your time and I'm like it's fine it's fine I usually edit it in Caden Live anyway, for my own purposes. So this theme is just Plasma. They don't do a custom theme. It looks good. Plasma looks good. I like KDE. I've become, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I've talked about it, but I've, I'm KDE all the way now. I don't use GNOME, GTK, anything. The last GTK desktop I used was Cinnamon. <laughs> But it just, it wasn't moving fast enough. I kept seeing cool stuff KDE was doing. So I, I gave it a shot, expecting to be disappointed. And I was not. So I'm KDE all the way. All right, uh, applications. Install some extra applications. I don't want to do this. Let's just get to the repo section. What is happening here? Offset. 
in live cases usually means hold the signal. Oh, hold the signal for 20 milliseconds. Hold it. Oh, okay. You can play audio before it's recorded. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I see. I see, I see. All right, let's pop this open. This UX on this welcome app is, is a little rough, admittedly. Okay, so you can manage the repositories on Open Mandriva just like you can with Ubuntu through the, like a UI sort of thing. We've got a main repo, unsupported, that contains packages that are free but not officially supported. Pop that in. Restricted contains packages that are free but encumbered by packets, packets, packet patents, which make them illegal to use or distribute in some countries. You are responsible for complying with your own laws. I think we're okay here. This is just for demonstration, right, folks? John, your first real experience with the Linux was back when Windows 8 came out. You saw it there directing. You didn't like it, so you bailed. No. <laughs> I. I actually liked Windows Windows 8. <laughs> I say that, uh, and I and I mean it too. I I liked Windows 8. I thought it was fresh. That was a different, nicer direction. But I understand people didn't didn't dig it. Third party repos we can install Brave, Google Chrome. We strongly recommend using a free browser. I think that's cool. Windows 8.1 was cool. This is not Young Bay. I don't know who this is. But I like it. But I like it. Uh oh. Is that the password or did I actually do it wrong? I'm going to be horrified if I've been mistyping it the whole time. What's going on? Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, it failed. Dude. I must have typed the root password wrong. This isn't good. Hey, Kelvin. Hey, lots. Like, I'm typing it right. Yeah, super secret. Get in there. Do, 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 do. Then the mouse goes crazy. Oh, my God. If I miss if I misspelled it, it would have been there. I might have to restart this. Oh, did that work? Why does it keep lagging out? Oh, I wonder if the computer is actually too far away from the mouse. That'd be kind of funny. All right, let's try that again. I gotta see what the actual password is. Suo secret. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Skip it. So that is, oh, okay. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to switch to EG. I want to, um, uh, will it let me do that actually? I just, I just set it to my name. <laughs> What? When you're walking home tonight and some homicidal maniac comes after you with a bunch of Logan berries, don't come crying to me. What? What just happened? Is it because I screwed the password up again? Yeah, it is. It yells at you when you type the wrong password in. That's the password I gave it. Oh, I'm, I have to use... Uh, It's the root password. <laughs> oh, I changed the password for the root user. Right, 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 right. Do, 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 do. This is gonna be me futzing with my password. Huh. No, didn't I do password EG though? Oh, I thought I did. Well, let's hope that I don't have to do that again. All right, let's bail out of that mess. Yeah, I don't I don't even know what the hell I just did. Hey, Dimrish, how's it going? Oh, no. 
I think I changed both passwords to EG, but I'm not sure. Now, in my defense, I should take, like, I can take a picture. Well, my actual keyboard's kind of a mess. <laughs> I don't want to take a picture of that. But the keyboard that I'm typing on, the really cool one, is like a mini keyboard. So, Distro Delves, the password episode. Yep, it happens. It definitely happens. Uh, so what do we usually do? Let's do a system update. Let's explore the, the computer. This is a full a full install we just installed, right? Do 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 Pyro Malach. Hello, hello. Oh no, don't ask me for my password. God. Oh my god, it asked me twice. Why does it do that? Thank you for your assistance, Varj? That Varj? Yeah. V R A J. I think that these prompts were screwing me up because it was asking me for my password twice. That is strange. All right, so this is the welcome app. We've played around with that enough. How do you join? Is this like a membership? Takes you to their Patreon? Oh, they have a donate thing. We at, Man at Open Mandriva enjoy working to bring you first class and well-maintained Linux distribution. We work passionately as part of and for a thriving open source community. You guys want to get some clothes? Hello Tux, what do they got? Whoa, what happened? Oh my, okay. Why did it do that though? So if you... If you use the mouse wheel on the background, it just abruptly changes the workspace, which is cool, I guess, but I don't know why it did that. If you know, if you're expecting it, it's cool, but if you're not, it's not so cool. <laughs> Tips are anonymous. All right, enough of that. Bail out. How do you contribute? Uh, we'll read about Open Mandriva in a moment. Let's make sure the system's up to date. What the hell? Did I run this? This was a... I thought this was something I launched. Yeah, system update just like launches a terminal. Hmm. Let's see what this does. No. Hmm. Why are you asking me? If it oh, is it running the same command? Oh, weird. No, don't crash. I just wanted a new terminal. What are you doing? Oh, dude. I don't know what I did here. So I split this terminal and it, it, it cloned the process? Why would it do that? That's really odd. That's what we're finding. Open Mandriva, what's the main appeal of a distro like this? It's it's like an alternate take on, on Mand uh, Manjaro or uh, OpenSUSE. Like a rolling distro, a rolling distro that's not Debian based, basically. It's its own thing. Maybe I'm fighting the compressor because the longer I talk, the quieter it gets, and I'm not. My voice isn't going down. I know how to speak, damn it. All right, I wanted to see what was inside of this. Oh god forbid we use sudo, don't do that. So it has nano instead of vim. And it launches console and runs a bunch of stuff. I thought that there was... I thought there was a front end. Is it DNF or Gora? Oh there it is right as I say it, that's funny. Oh here's the control panel too. Oh, that's cool. I like auto updates myself. Uh, how do you like these Mandrake, Mandriva inspired distros? They're cool. I haven't had the best experiences with them, but I want to, and that's why we're here today. I'm coming in with positivity and optimism, and I hope that I don't leave with disappointment. You want to show? You want me to show you the audio setup? I mean, we can do like a. I can stream it to you in Discord or something. You want to do that? We can do that later. You can show me what in the hell's. Actually, that would be better because if it was a video or something, I'd be using OBS. So if it was just a stream on Discord, it'd be way easier to show you that. So let's do that. Let's do that later. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh, this is the control center. 
You currently sound like Barry White because you got a cold. <laughs> the thing that keeps you from using distros like this is lack of software. Oh, yeah. If you use something like Megasync and they don't have a version for Mandriva, then yeah, Mandriva is not for you. Simple as that. Yeah, yeah. Well. Is it uppercase or lowercase? It's lowercase, okay. I've, I fixed the password situation. Man, that was hairy for a minute. Hmm. <laughs> You've heard that Magia is very stable. I looked at Magi Magia 2, and the, the versions and stuff that they have in their repos are really old. It's like Debian stable, maybe even older. And I mean, that's, sta that's it's stable, yeah, but I don't think it's suitable for anything but like servers. And um, their version 8 is rolling the way that it looks like it's rolling the way Debian testing is. So I don't, I mean, it would be like Debian testing with less support and less software. <laughs> but again, I mean, if you're using it on a server, it doesn't matter. But if you're using it on your desktop, I think people underestimate how complex the desktop use case is. When I was first getting into to Linux, it seemed like a lot of Linux guys, like a lot of admins and stuff, kind of poo-pooed the desktop and they're like oh that's chump change that's nothing that's nothing like the server and having managed linux servers the server stuff is like easy once you get it set in you kind of have a script to provision everything and then it's donezo but with a desktop there are so many use cases users doing all sorts of weird crazy stuff to their systems it's infinitely more complex and i don't know why so many so many people had that perspective that like desktop work was somehow inferior to back-end server work which is orders of magnitude easier in my opinion can we get steam oh wrong keyboard <laughs> I'm like what the hell just happened here stable but old packages I like playing I like playing uh, open source games whoa a whole bunch of notification just came through on my phone I like playing open source games on stream, but I think today we're going to do something a bit different. We're doing a whole bunch of different stuff today. Do they really not have Steam in the repos? Don't tell me that. I added the non-free stuff. Hello, Foxy the Wolf. This is so chill. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you think it's chill. That's what I'm going for. You think it's because GUI makes people think computing is easy? Yeah, GUIs are hard to make. The good GUIs are hard to make. GUI development's a pain. First time you heard of that distro? I will. Is it going? There's so many super users that downplay GUI interactions by saying do things faster in the terminal. Yeah, I mean, you can do things faster in the terminal, that's true, but that doesn't mean that the GUI desk use case isn't important, like so. <laughs> what the heck? It's, it's, some people's some people's responses are so strange. Like, yeah, but the GUI, the, the terminal is so much faster. Okay, and? Yes, that is a good observation. It is typically faster. There's no steam, huh? All right, time to go to Google. Nope, what do we, oh, is it Falcon? Yeah, it's Falcon, web browser. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, duck, duck, go. <clears throat> what were we going to look up again? What was the problem? We couldn't find Steam. Steam, install, stem. I just want to get this, get this ball rolling. Who's making videos on this? Oh, it doesn't give the names. Oh no, this isn't even, this is just like how to install Steam, period. I thought people were actually making videos about how to do it on Open Mandriva. Oh, here you go. We can do it through here. Okay. That's not my preferred way of doing it, but if that's how they recommend it, then that's how we're doing it. How do you guys feel about some copyright music today? Do I uh, technically I guess this is this is no not that what is the welcome app come on EG pay attention 
Where is it? Why isn't it here? Where the hell is it? It's just called Welcome. <laughs> hey Tanvir, you almost missed the stream. Steam backdoor has to be hacked in. I know. Like, why can't you find it in the in the uh, repos? Like, why do you have to go to this thing? I'm happy that there's a way to do it. This feels jank. No, not jank, just extraneous. Has anyone used Catchy OS? You just nuked your death your laptop today to try it out? Hey, man. Nothing wrong with that. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of that. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What is it doing to install Steam, though? Why can't I do it through the repos? Oh, we're getting to the bottom of this playlist. We're going to have to switch to some copyrighted music. That's why I asked. <laughs> How deep are we? 40 minutes. Oh. I like this song. It's real good. Give me, give me a terminal output. Tell me what's going on. We should be taking notes. It's yeah, you should be. Rice, get on it, man. We should have a channel in the Discord for Distro Delves notes, so people can just keep track of things. Because I, I don't. I mean, I'm so fried after these streams. I always watch back the, the stream VOD to make sure everything's good, but I, I mean, my brain is gone. So I want to point out that I Googled for how to install Steam and the hit that I chose. How did I, how did I get there? We have to retrace our steps. Okay, I went here and then I made it to the wiki. Huh. Okay. Well, I won't question it. Do, do we really have Steam open? Like, are you lying? Are you lying? No, we do. Huh. You really hate KDE's window decorations? Well, let's change it. I've got one that you might like. I'll show you what I use. Wait for this to pull up. All right, so go to win appearance, window decorations, get new window decorations, right? And then do K10. Watch, it's not there. Yep, there it is, Windows K10. This is what I use. And I really enjoy that blue outline because the shadows are cool, but I don't know. I just prefer the blue, <laughs> blue outline. <laughs> I think it's the older one. So this is 6.2 down here. I like 6.1. I'm pretty sure it's 6.1. It's a good one. Could be wrong. Here we go, I think that's a little bit better. <clears throat> yeah. Let's give it a dark theme too, what do you think? Up here? You guys, anybody remember up here in? Became whereby? Yeah, plastic love in Spanish. This is a common one in my playlist, I love this song. This is great. Shouldn't just leave that up, huh? What? No, you have to approve it. Right, right, right. Yep. Yeah, you good. Go ahead. Sign in. I like it. All right. How to install Steam on Open Mandriva. 
This is in Spanish, yeah. Windows 9X is, is good. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to like pop on and off, so. And get my Steam all set up, get it all jacked up. Steam Play, enable support for everyone, absolutely. How many people here have Steam Deck? I love seeing it referenced all over the place, man. People love that thing. I still don't have one. I just don't really have a use case for it, but I love that it exists. It makes me very happy. Get out. Do, 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 do. Sounds like Desire took the original version and replaced it with Spanish. Um, what is this? This is Makarosu8299 featuring Annie K. <laughs> you love the Steam Deck? Used his desktop a few times at work? Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So let me learn you a thing or two about Open Mandriva. You thought it was desired? No, it's very similar. I don't blame you. So I want to try playing Starbound, maybe. Oh, I did it again, wrong keyboard. I want you guys to show me how the hell I'm supposed to play Starbound. I really want to like this game. I can't figure it out. It just, it eludes me. Every time I try to play it, it just, I lose interest and I don't want to. You know, sometimes you play games, you lose interest, you're all right with it. I really want to like this game. But every time, I don't know. What is the name of that, that other game I play all the time? I don't, Luminis, that's it. Yeah, we might play that. You won't be able to hear the music though, and that's like half the game. You're the same, you can't get into it? Yeah, I, I want to, I just can't. All right, we already know about Open Mandriva. I think their wiki is pretty darn cool. So in terms of, you know, documentation and stuff, this is pretty cool. I'm impressed with it. You have to install a bunch of... See, I did, Kelvin, I did. I have a bunch of mods, and that's why I want to stream it for you. Because I want you guys to tell me what mods are good, what's, what's bad. All right, let's switch music here. What are we going to play? So I, I've got a list. I've got just like a whole bunch of songs that I like. And it should, the audio should be normalized. I'm looking for a specific song. I thought I added it. Maybe not. Well, this is unacceptable. I wanted to, there it is, I found it. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna let it do random. This will be fun. Shuffle it. Wait, why can't I shuffle it? What's wrong with you? Oh, it is shuffling. Yeah, let's do it. I love this song. You made a MIDI playable mod? <laughs> yeah, see, that's the kind of stuff I like about it, though. It makes it so freaking charming. And then I play it and I'm like, eh. What? I thought these were release notes. I mean, it kind of is, but it's more like, I don't know. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Ah, so we're using pipe wire. I think it said we were using... Oh, I did it again. Wrong keyboard. I'm so bad at this. Do, do, do. Ah, uh, X11. Which is fine. We like X, don't you? We like X here. Steal my sunshine. Cool, cool. Post install. What do we got? How to set your user avatar? I mean, to be fair. Installing the user man, you have to install a separate package to do this? Oh, it's a meta package, I see. 
That's weird, but <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, you like Waylon more than X? Yeah, but Waylon can't do screencasting with Discord. If somebody knows how, let me know. But that that's the thing that's keeping me on X is Discord. Uh, I need dolphin. Where? Give me dolphin. You stole my dolphin. I want to see if network works. Google Drive. Uh. Oh, and it pops open. Add new account. Okay, that is cool. You prefer Wayland too, but you don't screencast. Yeah, don't get into screencasting. I don't recommend it. Fish. Hey, 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 I got a retro pie on my network. It's working good. I'll have you know. It gets lots of use. What do we got in here? We got Distro Dells. We got Le Games. What do we have in Le Games? Whoa, look at how the U connects to the L. What's that about? Is that like a glitch? No, look, it's, a it's actually like that. What typeface is this? I have not seen that. You guys want to listen to Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Look at all these fonts it ships with. What is this? Yeah, I'm feeling good vibrations from these fonts, dude. Look at this. These are cool. What? Why does it ship with all these? <laughs> oh my god, this one's backwards. What the hell? What was that sunshine joint? Where's that one? <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble for playing this? I don't think I've played Marky Mark on stream before. No, seems fine. Yeah, we might get in trouble for this. These fonts are so nice, I can't believe it. No. <laughs> What? Why does it ship with so many? I've seen this one used, Carlito. I've seen this used in the wild. Pretty nice. Look, look at it. this size right here. Looks really good. <clears throat> it probably pulls the entire open fonts database. It just keeps going. Look how unique these are. Like you have no use for this. <laughs> All right, this is Davis. You guys want to screw around? See if we can change the fonts to one of those. Oh, there's fonts in font management. That's Noto? Noto does that? Where it connects the U and the L? I've never seen that, and I'm sure I've seen Noto a lot. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm gonna use this as a reference for fonts in the Die Nasty. Oh, my dingbats are in here. Of course they are. Oh, I, I'd be disappointed if dingbats weren't in here. What, what was the one? Davis. Get out of here. Go on. There you go. <laughs> uh, Donnie D on the backup. Put the crack up. He said something else before. Put the crack up. No, dude. Looking at this looks like we're on crack. That was tasteless. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, we got to put this back. This was funny, but... <laughs> Let's do Carlito. I'm talking about how cool it is. We'll make it 12. We'll make it 11. There we go. Fun fact, there was a game in the 90s called FX Fighter, and it used the that piano line of this song for the intro music, or the title screen music, I think. I was really confused when I heard this. 
Are you making the right aesthetic choice? Possibly. Oops, I just opened Discover. I was trying to... A little dance all days. Who is this? Wang Chung? You can barely hear it. How's that? Are those drums beating up your ears or can you hear it? Okay. So what I wanted to do in the public folder is copy our benchmarks and things. I I wrote an Androji to gather some benchmark data, but I don't know. It was a cool idea, but it was also a lot of work. And there's not really any return aside from, I guess, like my own enjoyment. And I only liked it so much. So, haven't done anything else there. Oh, wait a second. Hmm. Maybe I'm further on this than I thought. Can I run something here? Dun, dun, dun. I think all I need is Ruby, right? It's been a while since I've touched this. Yeah, if I have Ruby runtime, I should be able to make this work. All right, let's see if we can get Androji to do something. Very banger song. No, oh, I love this song. Oh, what did I just do? I copied Androji. Okay. Ooh, my installed depths won't work. I just need Zenity, right? Zenity and... Oh, it might, actually. I include... Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. We run this. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah! Hell yeah! I wrote this script. I didn't even have Mandriva in mind. It's working. It's adding flat pack. What did we not install? Flat pack? What did I need flat pack for? <laughs> what was I doing? It installs flat pack. Zenity. Do we have Zenity? Oh, good. Okay, we didn't even need that. So now. Hello? Who's in here? Androji. Install? Yeah, maybe install is the way. Let's do it. Oh, LS. Oh. Oh, because we copied it. Right, right, right. I guess I could just run it through Ruby, but... That's fine. Thinking of delving a distro today? <laughs> Trying to remember who made the song. This is Wang Chung. Oh no! What? Install tests? That's impossible. What are you talking about? My code is just fine. How dare you? Timings? I don't think this is right. This That install script shouldn't be in there. <laughs> I think. Oh no! Ah, okay, this isn't gonna work. This is in development. This is no good. <laughs> I tried. I tried. We'll just we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Sorry, Androji. You did your best, buddy. Oh yeah, lit by Mitch Murder. Ooh, this is loud. Let me turn that down. It it's not loud for me, but I can see an OBS. Remember, I was talking about the drums beating you up. I think that's what just happened. How did this, the code has a bug? It does, it has a bug because I wrote it and I'm really good at writing bugs. Like you guys have no idea how good I am at writing bugs. There, all right, we, we're good now I think. Tell me if the audio is still jacked up. How many games do we have? None, <laughs> good. Let's see how long this takes. 
Two minutes? How fast are we going? That's the question. So we're doing a network transfer at, what's the speed? Ah, seven megabytes, megabits a second. That works. All right, what else should we do while we wait? Let's see if this will run. Luminis, very, very fun game. I'd have to go get a controller to really play it though, so I don't know if we're gonna play this. And I can't, you guys won't be able to hear the music, and like I said, it's a rhythm, it's kind of a rhythm game, like kind of. Preparing to launch, huh? Well, oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't look at the install size or anything. Oh well. <laughs> Who needs that? Who cares about that? You are wrong. They made these songs. Simple Minds? Don't you forget about me? Huh? Who made song? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know about that one. I thought you were talking about the Wang Chung song. Why is it? Oh, because it's in windowed mode, huh? Graphic. There we go. Made the song you played before. I don't think we played any Simple Minds. I have Simple Minds in this playlist, though. It'd be really funny if it played them next. Don't you forget about me. And then I also have Tears for... F Is it Tears for Fears? Who did Everybody Wants to Rule the World? That's in there, too. Which is like my all-time favorite songs. Da -da -da -da. <sighs> yeah, just... I don't know, this takes the charm out of it for me. I, I love the music in this game. Mitch Murder's pretty good though. I don't know, this might work. It's freaking weird playing this with a keyboard though. You guys hear it? Is it? Does it sound nice? <laughs> I think my hand cramp. I don't know what kind of switches these are. Yeah, I can't keep this up. This is not comfortable on my hands. All right, that's enough luminies. That's enough. If you wanted to have Tetras more stressful. <laughs> It's not stressful, it's kind of fun. I, I find Tetra's stressful. Oh good, it crashed. Cool, we like that. So here's Starbound. Or where, where'd it go? There it is. And you have all the... All right, we'll do that in a second. Let's go back here. Yep. Yeah. Nice, we got our process viewer. What's going to play next? Oh, some Trapped? Who's going out with you tonight? It's a good one. Alright, CPU's not doing much of anything. Let's take a look. We got some apps. How do app images work? Oh. apps uh, app image we'll start this program yep I like that all right app images were good benchmark launcher what's this is this for blender yeah app images seem to work pretty good Caden live the computer's about to take off soon. Yeah, let me, I can put something on top of it if it's too loud. There, I put a beanie on it. Like a hat. 
There. Hopefully it's better. <laughs> Alright. Here's an old version of Caden Live. I, I used this for a long time. 18.12. You hope Planet Sinchari gets modding API soon? What's that? Planet Sinchari? <laughs> it looks like Falcon is still using the wrong font. Oh! <laughs> wow, this looks cool. Yo! This looks cool. Uh, I might have to add this to my my Steam list. See, this is what we needed a notes channel for. Yeah, you could put it in like EG General. Now playing Simple Minds. All right, let's close that down. Let's take a look at. No, I don't actually want to run the benchmark. Thank you. It was a nice thought. Appreciate it. Install some OBS from Flatpak. Cool. Flatpak works right out of the gate. Well, didn't we install it though? You put a playlist of Creative Commons musics in the music channel? Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Stand up folks, you guys are. Take a look at some code. This is KDE, so I don't. Will it actually run this? Kind of. Let's see. Can we make these executable? Yeah. Do it the old fashioned way. See, the elitists are like, eh, you could open a terminal and use a, a glob and do a all. No, I don't want to do that. I'll just do this. It's fine. Besides, it looks more interesting. Greetings, EG. Has it been a good delve so far? It has. There you go. Do, 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 do. I like this song. I like all these songs. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, let's do this one. Yeah, there are actually some songs in this playlist that you guys don't need to be exposed to. They're for my own, my own benefit, and I wouldn't want to put you through that. <laughs> this is a song I love. It's a Lannis Moore set. Oh, it's not very loud, is it? Oh, no, it's okay. Crank it up a bit. What are we at? 28? Yeah, that's fine. That's what I sound checked it earlier. Alright, documents. We have docx support. Do we, do we? We do, and look, it has emojis and everything. Oh, look at that. This is like shadowed. This is, <laughs> it's doing really good on the Distro Delves tests. PDFs? Nice. Oops, I closed the wrong thing. Spreadsheets work good. What is this? Oh, this is slideshow, right? Yep. Nice. Anything in downloads? 7-zip support? Yep. What about RAR? Yep. Wow. It's passing all of these tests with flying colors. I'm really pleased. <laughs> yes, I do want to open all of them. Oh, it comes with K-Wave? Huh, I'm actually kind of intrigued by this tool. Oh, jeez, it's ugly. Oh, you just drag and drop things like that? That's weird. I don't know where this came from. Can you just, like, grab the, the edge and... What's K-Wave? I don't know, this? 
Uh, K-Wave is a sound editor based on KDE work uh, frameworks. You can edit all kinds of audio files, including multi-track files. Yeah, uh, Open Mandriva does have a bad track record, track record on Distro Delves, and it's kicking butt right now. I'm excited to get into the audio or the media playback tests. Huh. This is kind of cool. Well, we see that this works. Okay. <laughs> Got it. VLC. It's working good. Something in D. We got some... Uh, we're not... Yeah, no photos. Uh, videos. That's what I have this open for. Sorry, having two browsers in the background. Simple Minds playing. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's it's using it. The 3D, no, not 3D. Um, what is a hardware encoding? Like this works, that's 4K. And of course 1080p will be flawless. Here's another 4K. Yeah, look at that. Dude. Huh. It's definitely working harder for this. And I don't think it looks quite as good, but that might, might have been the encoding. Like when it was first done. <laughs> That's a cool shot. I was just messing around with my dad's uh, thing. <laughs> like gyro the co helicopter thing. What are those? Drones. That's what they are. He has a drone with this really great camera. Oh yeah, there you go. A little dream theater. Yeah, this is more like it, huh? We've been blessed by righteous riffs. Well, it just passed all of the video tests. I would endeavor to say that Open Mandriva, am I missing anything? I think we're at the end of the tests, huh? We're an hour in. Network stuff, like uh, printers. Let's see if it can, it found my printer. If it did, I'm gonna be really impressed. Ooh, okay, hold on. I know it's online too. What if we just print something? Oh yeah. No, don't send the link. Print it. Yep, there it is, it found brother. That's my printer. So it does work, I don't know what KDE's smoking. But Falcon can find it. Yeah, Mandriva does. This is Mandriva Rome, the rolling release comparable to Manjaro or Open Susa. Uh, tumbleweed. Specifically. I can speak, I promise. I have the gain boosted really high, and I'm, I'm interested to hear hear the VOD because to me I'm so loud. <laughs> Which is fine, but it's funny. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're done here, right? The only operating system where printers work. I think we're at the end of the tests. Not the end of the stream, mind you. <laughs> Don't get sad yet. But at the end of the tests. I think Open Mandriva is like the best that we've we've seen live in, a, in like a while. The only issue that I encountered was with the password, and that was me. That wasn't Open Mandriva, but that was because I'm stupid. Let's take a look at Starbound. Installing and uninstalling mods can corrupt your save files. Oh, I know. 
your laser printer is uh, undercover just next to you. Yeah, K, K Wave might be nice if you don't need Audacity and all yeah, all of its plugins and stuff. Okay. We're playing Starbound with Fracken Universe. With uh this isn't Dream Theater, this is uh Liquid Tension Experiment. <laughs> You should be working on a book, Will. We'll go work on your book. Oh, I have to create a new character. No! Oh. Well. Hey, where's the woof? There it is. The woof. I have a character all set up and made on my my main computer. But let's let's make a thing and kind of goof around. <laughs> this is this is almost what he looks like. There you go. That's basically what my boy looks like. We'll give him a scratch on his on his nose. Give him. <laughs> it's just silly. Yeah, sure, that's fine. All right, I think we good. Donna. Um, I mean, like, Daunt, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna play casual. You wish Fracking Universe was additional content didn't have so many mechanical changes? What kind of mechanical changes do you not like about it? I, it's, it's so deep and new to me that I don't know, like, anything about it. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's, let's put on... I can't seem to turn off shuffle, I don't know why it's doing that. It's not supposed to, I'm not telling it to shuffle. I know I did earlier, but like I, I, I can't turn it off. Okay, no more shuffling. You're just gonna play the next song, right? Okay, I turned it off. And then my heater just turned on. I didn't think it was cold. <laughs> Apparently it did. All right. Oh, I wrong keyboard again. Oh, this is so annoying. Good thing it saved it. Oh, I didn't want to go back and recreate him. Hope you guys like Wolf Alice. Fracken Universe. New research system. This completely changes and revamps the game. Your personal tricorder. I'll have to replay it to remember all the changes. You don't have a passive glow, so in darkness, it's total darkness. Sounds right on paper, but devs don't understand what the player can't feel around in the game. Okay. Ooh, it's not getting the best frame rate in the world. I really like the Avali ship. I really like a volley's period. Maybe we, you know what? Let's should we go with a should we make him a volley? Well, then I'd have to sit there and like make it and stuff. <laughs> I've never made one, so I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of wanted to see what this mini ship was like. Let's do it. Oh my god, it is really small. It's smaller than I was thinking it was. What is this thing that's all busted up? the fuel. That's ship's navigate. That's the computer. What's this? Dun. Is Starbound like Terraria? I don't know. Kelvin, it sounds like you get you know more about this than I do. I don't know a lot about Starbound. I've played it a lot and I still don't know anything about it. It's fun for a while. Sci-fi Terraria. I have a shield. Can I? Sh oh, you can shoot behind your shield. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't break the window. <laughs> it's in the style of Terraria.
You gonna check it out? Yeah, I have a ton of, oh my God, look at his tail wag back and forth. I love this character. The character model is so cool. His ears bounce and his tail wags. See, I wanna have EG and EG game do that. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he does with the shield. Alright. Alright, we got this. So, the first... Well... Oh, look at this abandoned house! Score! Are you serious? I wish I started next to something like this in my own playthrough. What the hell's that? Oh, alt lights everything up. That's kind of cool. There's a bathroom. This is some old glitch house. Oh, why does X change that? That's weird. The weird change. Uh, have I ever heard of Pizza Tower? I have not. What's Pizza Tower? Ah! Can you destroy it like that? No, you have to use your matter manipulator. All right, well, let's go exploring. So, maybe you guys can tell me if this would be a cool thing for the EG, EG channel. But I'm thinking about making at least one video on Starbound to see if I can get some people to tell me like what I'm supposed to do. And if it's interesting enough, I could do more and have it like a, like a user feedback driven sort of thing where people can tell me what I need to do or what I should do. Cause that's another problem is I like run out of things to do in the game. There's, there's a lot of stuff I want to get into like fossil collecting and you can have pets and stuff, but I, I've never been able to figure it out. And I really want to, but this game is just so deep. And then I get Fracken Universe, which makes it even deeper, but I mean, hey, everybody says to do this. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Can I make a torch yet? God, this is a good song. Let's compare mods sometime. Yeah, I'll, I'll post a... In the thing, I'll post a picture of uh, all my mods, and, and maybe you can help me. I was really into ESO for a little bit, and I was playing it last night, and I, I realized that I'm over it already. That was fast. I was, in, I was into Elder Scrolls Online for like two weeks, <laughs> and I'm already over it. That, that might have been the fastest cycle that I've ever had. It is pretty laggy, like the com this, it is struggling. No. Yeah, let's, let's install Mango HUD so we can see what the frame rate is. Adios, Will. Sayonara. Nice, I like DNF. It's a good one. Ooh, why couldn't we connect? Oh, it recovered, okay. Man, this is nice. This is nice. Do they have any other desktops or is it KDE only? If it's KDE only, I actually like that. It means they pay a lot of attention to it. Is this based on Fedora? No, it is its own thing. Uh, what? EG what? As if Wario Land was mixed with Sonic and Mario? I'm trying to equalize the audio. It's not working though, I'm just gonna leave it alone. 
So yeah, I have a ton of mods. Well, a ton. I have a lot, I guess. I'm sure you guys have more. <laughs> Alright, we got Mango HUD. Let's make... Let's make... Um... Oh, look, the things change. For a glitch, it's a plug-in. <laughs> Uh, I like this game. A Night Tar. There's all these really good. I went through the Fracken Universe wiki and read about all these. They're so cool. That was a race that was in the game that you couldn't play. I bet a lot of these are, actually. Where's the... Oh, I don't think I have an Avali. There's a tra like a full-on dragon. I don't have a volley's shame. I was reading about these guys. These, they look fun. They're like ants. Plate color. I don't know. The idea that that there's like intelligent, intelligent enough insects cruising around. <laughs> The world of Starbound must be a trip. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Let's get like some really strange ship. Is he wearing something on his head? Oh, he is! There you go. Can you have him shorter? He's a little long. Oh, that works. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm an insect. <laughs> no, I closed it. You thought DNF was exclusive to Fedora? No way. Wait, and uh, well, Mandriva is RPM based. Oh my God, the little AI is a is a thing too. Oh my dude, it's like a cockroach. <laughs> Oh, I like this game a lot. I'm so amused by this. I love animal-based characters, even if they're even if they're uh, like insects. <laughs> oh, they have their own ship. Oh my god, it's so weird. Let's check it out. All right, let's let's do it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's like a flying nest. It's really creepy. We already heard trapped. What are you doing? Why are you mixing old ones in? We listen to Creed. Refrigerated storage. What was it called? Oh, the small. Fr it's a small fridge. I'm playing all sorts of naughty stuff. You have so many mods, it takes forever to load. Swords. Broken broadsword and a blunt short sword. Are they any good? Five and five. Oh, there's like UFOs float, floating around in the background. All right, uh, let's go to the ground. Then there's PC Linux. <laughs> now you want to play Starbound. One mod is she's an AI that has a lot of personality. See, okay, Kelvin, you gotta hook me up. It seems like. YouTube gives. Well, oh, I've I've been noticing people on Twitch. I heard um, Guns and Roses people playing Guns and Roses on Twitch. So I I I really hope that the the companies, the music companies, finally pulled their head out of their asses, realized that this is a good thing. More money to be made through the sheer volume that people want to listen to music than it is to try to protect it and only let people play it if they. Pay royalties. I mean, you still have to pay royalties. It's just way lower. But the idea is that there's so many people listening that it, it makes up for it in volume, and it doesn't really. But it's a nice thought, I guess. 
<clears throat> oh my god. This sword is terrible. No. Get away from me. Are you just like really strong maybe? Dude, this blob is gonna kill me. <laughs> okay. This is fun. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, but what I will do for you guys is we play- I'm gonna play you out. Like I've done in the past. Yeah, let's go there indeed. Alright. I think that it is time... To, oh, I hit the thing. Uh, to play some music. That was strange. It was a stretch. Okay. So, first things first, I'm gonna raise my desk and it's gonna sound kinda weird. But I'm also going to move you, Mr. Microphone, M Mr. Mrs. Whoever. The microphone is going to go here. There. Move this mic arm out of the way so that you don't have to look at it. Nice. All right. I got to... I gotta check to to make sure that it looks normal when I turn it on. I don't even have, I don't even have Discord open. I use Discord's um, like screen share thing all the time to test stuff. So uh, before I before I switch over, I just want to say that Open Mandriva was real good. I have nothing but good things to say about it. And I don't think my... Oh, it's not plugged in. Oh, we might just have to... We, we might just have to play it by ear. I mean, if people play music in their stream, it's not like people can... Yeah. All right. Now we're going we're gonna to jam, and I'm gonna, we're going to switch to... That scene. And we're going to grab... Well, we're going to sunset the distro delves PC so you don't have to listen to the airplane <laughs> it'll cease in a moment there you go. <laughs> now you now you can really see how loud that was huh okay Nice. Zoom it in. All right, let me go get the uh, the old guitar. Oh, I need to turn on the other mic. Probably like that. Hello, hello. Turn the amp on. Get the guitar. I need to move my pedals around so that I can actually get them. Make sure... How's the level? I don't have the... Do you mean jet engine? Yeah, what did I say? Airplane? I don't know. Where's my... Where'd my pick go? I need that. How's that sound? Does that sound good? It doesn't sound like it's quite in tune, but I think I can work with it. Could be better. You can hear it clearly good. It's quiet but low. Okay, hold on. It's clear, huh? Let me make sure it's in tune first. Who's the culprit? That's not D, but okay. Oh, it's you. Okay. 
You said clear? Wait. You said clear? It's delving time. I gotta bring that back up though. All right, you guys wanna see some guitar? Let's go. something I've been working on for a little while and I'm going to I see I like playing to that better but it's, it's kind of hard to play just right so it's it's hard it's not hard to play so much it's hard to loop <clears throat> but we're gonna do our best The loop is off, so I'm, I'm like trying to, I'll just play it the other way, if I can remember how. Sometimes I have to like get into the, get into the, the rhythm. Yeah, I think we could probably work with that. again.
see if we can add another rhythm on top of it. That doesn't sound quite right. That is, that, I don't know. Let's try it. Can't really even hear the song or the rip. I don't know the melody. Uh, I'll I'll play you one more and then I'm and then I gotta go. I got stuff I gotta do today. And um, what? How far are we in? Ugh. We're an hour and a half. I hear voices. All right, let's wrap this up. I'm gonna play you one more song and then we're gonna go. Get, get a feel for it. Oh, it's the same rhythm. I just moved the rhythm to a different place. Um, all right, let's shake it up. I think this, I may have played this before. It sounds a bit like Sweet Home Alabama, but it's not supposed to. I don't even like that song very much, but I guess I like it enough to have a similar chord progression. So uh, yeah, I'll noodle around to this. Hit it twice. Let's try that again. Let's go. Whoop. I don't want to play the same riffs. I think that's it. Uh, oh, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. And I'd like to do more guitar stuff and live stuff like this in the future. This was kind of a test. And it was a lot of fun. So.
right, that's enough. It was great hanging out with you guys. Do one more. Um, I don't know. I I don't know if I'm if I'm practicing and warming up on my own. I can play forever, but my mind has gone blank now that I'm streaming. I practiced that first song that we played earlier, which is why it's still my memory, but I, I can't get anything else to come. We'll do this again though, and we'll have a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of fun that time too. But until then, I'm gonna let you go. It was great hanging out with you guys, and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>